The uncertainty and erratic nature of sports is simultaneously why we love the game and the reasons why the outcomes stay with us over the course of time. As the line between victory and defeat has remained thin throughout the year, the Rebels stand tall in the face of a crucial homestand. The spin off the glass and count it. Two on two. Tyree gets the paint, doesn't like it. Out to Henson for a three, and it's good. Blake Henson with the three, trailing the play. Yeah. This team involved. He always makes you feel better about things after a conversation. And see, makes you feel better if you're a fan of Ole Miss. On a night to celebrate the Oscar award winning local legend Morgan Freeman, all the glory would belong to the red and blue. Brigham's going to shoot a long three over the zone. Dead center! Oh, wow! He popped the net on that one. Tyree. Crossover, the spin, the fadeaway! <laughs> 36 points for Brian Tyree. Nasty. Just nasty. So, Brian, it's been one of those years where you guys have had big leads in the second half against some pretty good teams, couldn't hold on to them. It's a different story in the second half tonight. Was there anything that changed with you guys, your focus in that second half? Yes, sir. I mean, like you said, we've had games where we definitely could have won and just let them go. And uh, especially this game, we just didn't want that to happen. We stressed that in the second, I mean, at halftime, just saying, um, you know, don't get hit first, you know, keep swinging. And I think we did a great job of that tonight. Well, Bray, appreciate the time. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. A career Congrats, high 38 man. points for the man, Bray and Tyree. He's such a He'll do no those things. Great game. I feel good, man. It's great to win, man. Whether I score 40 or I have to score two, I'll take a win any day. Thank you so much. No problem, little girl. Back at it on Saturday, we won it on in February, man. Rebel Nation, come help us out. We need it. One o'clock. As one lifelong rebel approaches the end of his illustrious career, another legend embarks on a new quest as the athletics director. Between the backboard and then fell in. Oh! Keith Carter! Three by Carter. So that's not unusual. That young man has got all kinds of range. What's really impressive to me is when I was a senior and I was 22 years old, I, I was thinking about basketball. You know, I was thinking about playing forever and, and all of those things. And I look at some of our student athletes now and just the purpose that they have, the focus they have with, you know, obviously their sport, but what they want to do after sport. And I wish I could go back and, and be a little more driven and have a little more focus as some of ours do. But, you know, to, to have the opportunity to be the AD at Ole Miss, that, that was something that was never in my wildest dreams as a, as a senior in college. We talked a lot about Keith Carter in this league, and a lot of people, I think, maybe don't know how good a player he really is. One of the leading scorers in the league. Joining the athletics department in 2009, the former All-American now finds himself handing out the hardware to those who succeed across the various sports in Oxford. I talked to a lot of my friends that were ADs kind of as I took over the interim role, and they talked about, you know, actually just being in the chair. And I think I learned very early that being in the chair was different. You know, there's, there's a lot of decisions, a lot of things that come across your desk that you don't see, you know, in, in other roles. And um, I think the interim process for me was very, very valuable to kind of learn the ropes and get ahead of some of the things that, uh, that I was going to have to do later on, and it really set me up to, to get the permanent role. So uh, it's been a lot of fun, again, a lot of challenges, but uh, that's what you sign up for. And, you know, to get the opportunity, again, to do it at my alma mater and uh, just help student athletes and coaches and administrators and, and, and trying to do the right thing and push Ole Miss athletics forward, it's, it's, a, it's a big honor and something that I really look forward to. Let's go for the split here in Oxford. Hello, I'm David Kellum along with Mark Dukes, and we're sitting to bring you the action as Ole Miss host former red Mike Wright's Gators. <laughs> Following a night when every shot seemed to have been touched from above, the Rebels would ground the Gators with a smothering defensive performance. Shot clock winding down. Johnson doesn't see it. Rubber has it picked by Tyree and Brianna. 
hot start. He's got 10 to outscore Florida by himself. Johnson had it blocked. C got a piece of it. Over eight minutes now without a basket for Florida. Well, Tyree with 10 points, but most of that was early. He'll try his luck here from just inside the line, and he'll get two more. Lewis looking for him on the roll. They got to get it up, and they do not. Second shot clock violation of this first half. And Scotty Lewis said, my bad, and he touches his ear like he can't hear. As a packed pavilion continued to rain down noise on the visitors, the Florida drought would soon pass. Aggressive, big shot by Nephard. After they went one for nine from downtown, they've hit two in a row and have cut the deficit to six. After a noticeable bite was taken out of the first half lead, the Rebels would hand it off to their senior leader to chomp down on a Craddock Court victory. And the Rebels get it away from the Gators. Tyree for three. Yeah. Boom! Free and Tyree from way out left wing hits a bomb, and the Rebels have matched their biggest lead up 13. Uh -oh. The lob over the top and the connection for Hinson. And in the second game of a three-game homestand, working on a second consecutive upset. But what a win for Ole Miss. The Rebels held the Florida Gators to 51 points. They scored 73 a game. I think it might get a little loud in here midweek when Mississippi State comes oh, a call. Oh boy, that's going to be a big one. 25 seconds, big fight here at 25. Punch drive, lock in, take your time in the rack. Woo! Woo! This rep right here for Kobe. <laughs> Out with a broken foot since November, sophomore Luis Rodriguez's spirits remain high while on the mat. It ain't been that bad, only wearing one shoe. When I went home, I was able to pack more shoes. <laughs> oh man, oh man, not again. Sound like Drake over here. I'm gonna get that mamba mentality. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have a 12 pack. I think it's really just more fuel, more fuel. That's what it is. Man. Right now, I'm hurting, but you gotta let a grind fall in love with us. It's gonna make you. Don't let it break you, so that's always what I've been told. So. Good work. work. Great work. Yeah. Got your protein shake down, so I can get on the bike, finish your conditioning for the day. Yes, sir. Boys gonna get it done tonight. I'm out the boot, man. They gonna hold it down. Two and zero right now going into this game. So it's February. Boys got it. Oh yeah, I'm looking for. If I see any seat, I might get mad, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. To you. We got here. It don't matter who. We are gonna get it done, bro. Uh, the more you think about last game, whether you win or lose. Uh, that's going to affect your next game, so it's always a next game mentality with this team. Rebels have won six of their last seven. Speaking of slow starts, Bulldogs started league play at 0-3, and they sit here at 6-4. and In order to close out the three-game homestand successfully, the Rebels would lean on an electric atmosphere to bring them out of an early deficit. So it's almost like if the Rebels can weather this storm, and they're right where they need to be. Remember, bring in Tyree with two quick fouls. Sits on the bench. In and out. Nadine C has both of the Rebel field goal. Buffett off to Tyree. Top of the key. Three is perfect. Three are tied at 10. I would say Gamble to play three in Tyree, but the second he comes in, picks up five quick points. Good news for Rebels fans is, in particular in the first half, Mississippi State seems to allow teams to, to get going. Tyree with less than 10 seconds to go before halftime. Guarded by Stewart. Brian turns the corner. Big shot. Devontae Shuler. His first field goal comes at the end of the half. And if you're old 
Miss, you gotta feel pretty good with everything that happened in the first 20 minutes. While the final blow of the first half would send the fans out of their seats, a second half show would be the topic of conversation on the way home that night. Right side, Henson, open for a three, his shot. Good! Blake Henson gets his first basket of the game, and Mississippi State wants a timeout. The Rebels with their biggest lead of the night, 38-34. That's pretty basketball, pretty basketball. Brand. Facing the rival Bulldogs for the final time in the pavilion, Bree and Tyree would help outscore the rival squad in the second half, all by himself. No zone, no man-to-man -man defense that has been able to slow down Bree and Tyree. As a point guard, you know, trying to do his best to win for us, that's all he do, so his heart is on the right place. Well, this is the power of the pavilion. We talk about arenas across the country and in particular in this league, the pavilion has to be in conversation. You can feel the energy here. Second, six seconds, Tyree drives the lane for a two-handed dunk! You gotta be kidding me! Ole Miss by 20, and the Bulldogs have no answer for Ole Miss right now. Tyree, and Tyree is coming back and giving them the business. Feeds out front to Tyree. Tyree shoots a three over everybody. Bingo! Holy cow! Bucket of water, he's gonna melt. 40 points for Brian Tyree, a new career high. Schuler smiling, he's grinning, he's liking what his buddy's doing. I don't know if I've ever had a guy like that as a guard. You know, just go get 40. And I've been coaching a long time. That's that's probably the best I've ever seen. In a season where anything can happen to any team at any time, no matter what it says on your chest. Coach Davis's squad finds themselves with plenty to fight for in the closing weeks of the season. These people will come back and watch that again. I'm proud of you now. That's an arch rivalry game. You guys felt it right there. So we talked about when in February. You're three and zero. Three and zero. Yes, three and zero. Three, one, two, three. Yeah, I feel like fans are great right now. Like, like so I know everybody says fans when they meet you. Like, you're a huge fan. Like, Josh Redemption.